to it? I've been a failure. I've been a failure. Tell me the gospel, Tim. I've been a failure. Well, we all fail, but tell me the gospel. The gospel of Jesus Christ is those who believe in his name and believe in him will resurrect and will be reborn okay. in his likeness. So why, why do we need Christ? Why do we need Christ? Yeah. Man, we all need Christ. Right. We why? all need Christ because I agree, of the simple but fact that we all fell short. Of what? In, in, in his sacrifice, man. Honestly. No, I, I agree. We, we're, we're not worthy of a sacrifice. No, but we're not is, worthy at all. But, you know, but what is it we fall short of? We fall short of everything. Well, you know what scripture says we fall short of? What's Romans, that? Romans chapter 3. My brain is freezing in my head tonight. <laughs> uh, come Ro- on now. Come Romans, on, man. Chapter, Romans chapter 3 tells us that we have all sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Yep, the glory and so the glory of God, what it means to say that we fall short of the glory of God is that there's a standard that God has for entrance into heaven. And that standard is perfection. Yep. And that per- perfection is, is seen through the glory of God because God is completely separate from everyone else. There's nothing like God. And so because of that, God commands perfection. He commands us to be holy as He is holy, but we can't be holy like He is. So we need somebody else to be holy for us. Yep. And that's why the second person of the Trinity, Jesus Christ, had to come and be that perfect sacrifice for us. He had to be God in the flesh, had to pay that penalty so that we could have forgiveness through the, shed blood of, of, of his, through the shedding of His blood upon the cross. And in Romans chapter 10, it says that if we confess with our mouths and believe in our heart that Christ is Lord and Savior, we shall be saved. Sir. So. That is at all times. So the, the question is, is you say you know that. And, and, and understand I'm not asking that to be argumentative or to be in your face. Oh, yeah. No, I'm, no. Ask, come, come on. Come on. I'm asking, speak, would God recognize you as, a, as his adopted child through the blood of Christ if you were to die on your way home tonight? If I was to die on my way home tonight, I honestly could not say that I could be in that position right now. So, but, but, the only problem with me is, is I believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. And I stand hold, and I will defend the Lord Jesus Christ to the day that I die. And if I die, and I go to hell, and I was to have nothing else to stand for in this world. Okay. In this world okay. and in the next. I will always be fighting for the blood of Jesus Christ. Right. So my children, my children of my children, they will always fight for the blood of Jesus Christ because I teach them in that manner. Okay. So my But the only thing is <laughs> oh, yeah. is I hate myself. You shouldn't hate yourself. I hate myself. You should hate yourself. Due to the fact of I'm a sinner. We all are. Every single and one of us. In my sin, the only issue within my sin is to is is, is lust. Well, that's would, the biggest thing I would, in my sin, and that's I the only that. thing in my sin. But, and so I hate myself with. I'm sorry. Uh, we have plenty of people out here. I got my older brother out here. I moved him down here from St. Paul to Albury, but I, I I don't have a church to go to. Okay. I don't have anyone to speak to within, you know, my 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 situation. Okay. But I have a problem. We we all have Dude, a problem. I'm we have sorry. A problem. I'm sorry, I have a problem. And we all, we all have problems. We all do. No one's arguing that. The issue is, is my brother, my mother, yep. who was not religious, my brother who's not religious, yep. my father who's not religious, yep. everything. They don't follow the things that I follow. So, so I believe in Jesus Christ. Tim, right? Tim. Yep, Tim, Tim. So, yep. Tim, here's, here's what I'm going to say. You, you, you've said several times that you believe, and so I'm going to share a couple of things with you, okay? In James... God writing to us through 
through James, the writer of the book of James, says, you have heard it said that even, even the devils believe in the name of Christ, yet they tremble at his name. So it's not just simply belief in God or belief in Satan, believe in Jesus, belief in Jesus, Jesus. Now my mouth is frozen with my brain. So, <laughs> don't so don't not, freeze now. So it's not just belief that is that it is it saves. Okay, and then in Matthew chapter 7, everybody's favorite chapter of the Bible now, Everybody's favorite chapter is now, of course, you say, judge not unless you be judged. Everybody likes to quote that, especially in our society today. But at the end of that chapter, Jesus is speaking to, for, to people who come and profess to be followers of his. And he says, many of you are going to come to me on that day and you're going to say, Lord, Lord, we, didn't we do all these wonderful things in your name? And he says, but I'm going to say to them, get away from me because I never knew you. No, so Tim, right? Yep. What I what I want to do, what I want to plead with you to understand is, I don't want that for you, man. Corbin. I don't want you to be that guy. I want you to repent and believe the gospel. I want you to understand that you're desperate, desperately, just like me, just like Todd, just like Joey. I don't want you to be a desperately wicked sinner who doesn't know for sure, because you can know today, and you can know that for a fact. But you have to repent and believe that God. So, and then that comes comes with that I obedience, bro. I, I repent in the name of Jesus Christ, but at the same time, so do you I hate your have, sin? Do you hate your sin? I hate my sin. Okay, what are you doing about it? I honestly, my my willpower <laughs> as a person, as a, as a man on this earth, as a man that Jesus Christ has blessed multiple times. Can I? <laughs> I I cannot honestly sit here and lie to you. Say I'm I'm saved. You know I can walk away. You know, but so at the same time. So that's what I that's what I want you to encourage you to do. Don't just trust in this life that you've had before. Really think about it. Really really think about whether or not you've actually come to know God through Christ. You see what I'm saying? Come to know Him. At his by his standards, no, not just like, but by his standards, the one of his standards. And so, so check yourself. Ask yourself if you really do hate your sin. Are you loving God with every fiber of your being, every minute of the day? Because none of us do. You know, and so that's ask yourself that and plead with God to make that clear to you so that you know because you can know. And then come check us out, come check out our church. We're open, man. We, Hold on, man. This is, a, this is the love of Christ, man. Y'all gonna have to back down on that shit. What are you talking about? We're not. Hey, look, y'all, I he, he wasn't, he wasn't, being, he wasn't being hostile. Don't, don't get an argument with your brother. No, now don't talk like that. Hey, hey, come on now. Come on now. Him? Don't no, punch him. No, don't no. punch me. Punch him. Don't punch me. Hit him. <laughs> oh, don't punch him. Cross. Don't punch him. No, hey, no, man, this is mine. Get your own. This is mine. Get your own. This is Jesus Christ's blood that y'all talking about, man. What is this? Hey, bro. Yeah. No, nah, we weren't. We, bro, we were asking him, right? We were asking him, right? Don't drink the cooler. I don't know what's going on. We're just out here because we want to share the gospel with people. We were asking him Outside of the air gun? Anywhere we've went, we went down to the nasty. You know, we've been down to the nasty. What's the point of being outside of a bar, though? Well, let um, me ask you: ever, You ever go fishing? Yeah, you ever been right. fishing? Yeah. Right. Yes. Okay. When you go fishing, do you go to a mud puddle in the road, or you go to a place where you know fish are? See, mud puddles We're have fish too. Sea, okay. My if question. there was a mud puddle on this road right now, no, no, no. We're just asking to have conversations with people, sir. We're not asking that problem. You're, you're asking for problems. Why? Why is it a problem? Because people are talking. There's a lot of shit going on in the news right now. I mean, I'm just saying, like, I'm not saying that. I'm not picking on you. No, I, I, no, I, no, I appreciate you asking, like, but, but my, where, but I'm going to go where people are. It'd be, well, Walmart. it'd be smarter to go to Walmart than outside of a bar. Why? Because people are, people are drunk. Do you think the people at Walmart aren't dumb? No, but they're not drunk. They're not all drunk. Uh, I would beg to differ. I've seen a lot of drunk people at Walmart. So. I mean, they're not drunk. But there's a lot of people that are not drunk, and there's a lot of people that go there that are drunk. Right. And so I would say that that where people gather, where they where they are getting drunk, it makes it even more imperative because you guys you guys like everybody else need to hear the message. What? We're just going to go where people are. What, did, you what, did, what time drink? did you come here? What time what? did you come here? You want to know why we drink? Why? We're hardworking Americans. And are you yep. saying that I'm not because <laughs> I'm not drinking? No, I just want to know why you're targeting us. Why, uh, why, uh, why are you feeling targeted? Did you guys we're just come having here? a conversation. Because you told me that you were at the Nasty before. That's yeah. a bar. I mean, yeah. You're here now. That's because this is where people so, are on a Friday night in this town. Well, That's not that's not completely true. It's 400 fold at Walmart. 
I'm, not, I'm gonna ask you, what time did you guys come? But this is a public uh, sidewalk, and I, this is a public more. sidewalk, and I can be right, out here. I, I guess I understand that. Yeah. Walmart is very like. But you're, we're not like, targeting you're people. You're very defensive about everything. Yeah. I'm just flat out telling you that it's in my eyes it's <laughs> stupid that you're standing outside of a wall. Right, and the scriptures say that people are gonna perceive us as being foolish for this. So I don't disagree with that at all. Well, it's just, it's Have fine. you ever read the book trying to Harringer? Your on, what the, hell the Harbinger? No, I don't like Daniel Kahn. He's a false teacher. Kahn's a false teacher, so. You think that's false? Yeah, Kahn's a false teacher. He's a false prophet. Well, that's that's multiple. Multiple. well multiple if I gave you a glass of water, everything. sir, and I said, I know you're dying of so, thirst, so here's a nice cold glass of water, but there's one drop of cyanide in it. Would you drink it? That's not no, it is the point. The point yeah. is, Just because there's some truth in it doesn't mean it it's not dangerous. Depends on your outlook on so no. somebody else's. No. My idea. our outlook doesn't determine truth, right, sir. Right. We don't. We, our outlooks don't determine truth. You go by the Bible, which has been changed over. No, how that, many that's centuries. a that's actually a fallacy. That's not true. That's a that's an assertion that you can't back up. Well, no, I can't prove that. Actually, I've studied, I've studied no, I can the Bible. I can prove through the original. I can prove through the original. I'll just sum it up right now. You're not going to win in this guy because he's the one upper. Yeah, no matter what you say, he's going to say no, this. Because the how many Bible different religions are there? There's are thousands I'm of different religions. religions. How many fucking different religions? So the Bible changes for every religion. So that means that there's different no, religions. The Christian Bible doesn't change for every other religion. Every other religion has been. I have studied the other religions, sir. I study other religions. Why are you so hostile, sir? I've studied a religion. Okay, thank you. I appreciate that. I understand that. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's very polite of you, sir. Very wise of you. Very wise of you. So you just made an assertion about scripture that you can't back up. You know, and neither can you. No, I can. I can go back to the original text in Greek and Hebrew. I can go back to the original Greek and Hebrew text and show you that the No one can go back. Okay. And no one can go back to the original. And that means no one can. I was born and raised Lutheran as well. Every teacher that I've had since I was five, four or five years old that's told a, me that that's a that's a fallacy no referred to back, as appeal no to authority. To that people who have some sort of shut head. up. You're not, not making any up. sense. There's How no need for you guys to be hostile sense. with each other. But by saying that I'm no one talk is, to you and he's sitting here. Nah, 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 hey, Tim, 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 Tim. What the fuck Tim, are you trying to Tim, say, dude? Tim, like Tim, Tim. Listen. Honestly, I'm Tim, just I'm I'm trying Tim. to make you the same guy that was too. wearing Tim army uniform Tim. this last summer at the fucking Tim. bar. Tim. Yes, that was. Tim, stop. Tim. Out of uniform. Tim, stop. Yes, that was me. Tim. Tim, listen, listen. And you got a problem listen. with that? Yes, listen. I do. Tim. Why? So what's Tim. up? Tim. Stop. Don't ask me. Have that. you He's ever served in the military? My whole years. family has served in the military. Yeah, hey. your whole family, hey. but you. Hey. Tim. I'm part of my Tim. family. Hey, but, but you. Tim. Yeah, I've served. Listen. Like I said, yeah, but I've you. Served. You Tim. know how many tours I've done in Iraq, Tim. motherfucker? None. Hey, no, no, no. Hey. None? Hey, hey man, None. it's not. None. No, hey, man, it's None. not worth it. Listen. Zero. Hey, hey guys, stop. You sit here. Hey, stop, stop. Hey. Zero. Hey, I hope listen. to God I find you sober no, one no, day. No, no, you tell me that. Don't, 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 bro. Man, it's not worth it. Bro, we can go over a block away. Like, what's up? For what? For what? Military man, military man. What's up? He's not a military man. Why is he? fraud. I am a military man. Why? I have paperwork to prove my shit. Why? Why disrespect that uniform then? Hey. What? What disrespect? Hey, talk to me, man. Talk to me. I'm a vet, dude. I'm a vet. I did five. Years with 82nd Irwin and talk to me. Right. Talk to me. All right. Talk to me. You Tim. go behind your right fucking lead. Hey. That's it. That's all. Talk to me. Talk to me. Hey. I'm a vet. Show me the respect. Talk to me. All right. Talk to me. Talk to me. No. 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 I will rip your retarded head off. No. Hey. 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 No. Hey, you're talking about my retarded head. Yeah, this retarded. <laughs> yeah, the one that wore his jacket. Yeah, hey, half of it. Listen, listen, <laughs> What's listen. Up? listen. Then let it be. What right? half of you? I, hey, I, that stuff makes me go. mad too. You don't know how disrespectful it is. I do, I do, I do. Get it? I get it. I confront people doing my stolen valor. My whole family has listen, served this listen, bullshit, listen. motherfucker. Stop. Stop. I I serve, <laughs> man. I'm out here. I'm out here because I serve. You get it? I'm out here on Veterans Day because I serve. 
Well, all right? congratulations. No, 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 I, listen. I'm, I'm not, not talking shit. No, I appreciate it. No, no, listen. It's not. It's not it. He disgraces it. He disgraces it. And I get it. It pisses me off, too. I don't. What do you want to. What do you think is going to happen? Yeah, I have paperwork. You could clearly rip them. You know how much violence. You still can't wear that shit, you fucking idiot. I got spanked like that. You can't wear a half. You can't just wear your AC. I just wore my jacket because I was cold that day when I come to. It teaches a lesson. Cool. Did you get spanked as a kid? Yeah, absolutely. And yeah. you're respectful. Yeah, you're a respectable adult. Have you yeah. ever seen yeah. kids nowadays that didn't get spanked? Yeah, yeah, I deal with them all the time. Like, you're tired of little fucks. Yeah. So listen, yeah. it don't take shit for granted. No, what do you think is going to happen? It's a fucking Next time he does it, he's going to think twice. I guarantee you he will. I guarantee you he will. No, because I've seen it hundreds of times. So have I. You know how many lessons I've taught? Probably a lot. Probably I wipe the floor with me right now, but I don't want that. I don't want that either, because you're not going to have a little bit of 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 a I'm supposed to be the one everybody's I'm a mad at. <laughs> I'm not bashing you guys. I respect what you're doing. I'm born and raised. Can I answer you? I'm Todd. Okay. Alex. No, Alex, it's nice to meet you. I know, I, know you guys, I know you guys think we're crazy. I get that. I don't think you're crazy. I just think you're doing it in the wrong spot. You guys are going to get shook talk to you all night. Yeah, we're, 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 we're prepared for that, but here's the thing. I'm not. But that don't really happen. Alex, right? I don't think it. No, Alex. Listen. This, I'm bo- born and raised here. You guys, listen. this is the wrong fucking Hey, look, I get. I'm not trying to tell you where to go no, or anything. Yeah, but see, that's the thing is that we, the people that we're trying to reach, are never going to walk into our church. You know what I mean? You guys aren't going to wake up on Sunday morning and come say, "Hey, let's go find a new church to go to." So even though you know why I, re- I referenced the Harbinger, yeah, I nobody has faith anymore. I well, that's not true. You know, that I've is got, true. I've got saving faith. There's people that do, but but the majority of the population doesn't have faith. In and I I agree, but that's why it makes the message of the gospel that much more important. I know, but you're talking to a bunch of drunk people. Right. Not but here's the thing: if, if one person hears one thing that they take home with them, because I can, I can literally tell you stories and give you accounts of. Here's here's one, one talk about military. One of my best friends in the entire world is a guy that's in the air force. He's a he's seven now. He might even be an EA. I've talked to him for for a few months because he got married and all of a sudden he had time for me. <laughs> but here's the, you, you know how that goes, right? Yeah. So so here, here it goes. This guy, I met him through doing evangelism. And his his story is amazing because he was in London on a, on a weekend tour, weekend pass. He was in London. He heard a guy, he heard a guy preaching the gospel in London in Hyde Park at Speaker's Corner. Okay? And it's kind of their free speech area. Yeah, they, it's not like the United States where you can say whatever you want, wherever you want. And there you kind of go, he went to Hyde Park, he's listening to this guy's preaching. Doesn't think much about it other than he's heckling him. He's, he's been drinking, he's heckling him the whole time, right? Just heckling him and heckling him and heckling him. He's getting angry at him and he was an avowed atheist. This is my one of my best friends. He was an avowed atheist. He goes. He can tell you. He can tell you. He goes off. I'm not trying to provoke him. Leaves to go to. He, go, he goes work. to Spain. He goes to Spain. He goes to a little tiny town. I believe it was Santander, Spain. And he goes into. He goes into this. A brothel. He goes into a brothel in Spain with another buddy. They're drinking blitz out of your mind. And all of a sudden, he's sitting there at the bar, stone cold sober. And I asked him, "What do you mean you're stone cold sober?" He says, "I went from one second of being an atheist." to believing that message that I heard in London yeah. weeks ago, and I was saved. That makes sense, but... Sober. <laughs> Drunk to sober. But he heard it while he was drinking. You know what I mean? No, that so, makes sense, but so the that's thing is, is I get, I, I get it's not this place. This, this is the but dirt of this town. If you make somebody think something... Who did Jesus, who did Jesus come to? Did he come to the good, upstanding people in society? Or did he go to where, where the people who thought that everybody looked at him and said they were dirt? Where did he go? He went to where he went to where everybody said they were where they were drunk. People are drinking and people Okay? He went to where they basically were drunk and where people thought they were dirt. But you got guys like this. You're coming here to create issues. Yeah. Well he's not he's not with us, so Well you are. No, I'm not coming in. In fact, he's out here fucking, you know, now, you know and then it's pretty poor. Me, hey, I mean, you're, let's just go inside because this guy's a dumbass. Okay? Oh, I appreciate that. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's go. So, Stop talking to this fucking phone. 
By the way, he's recording you. <laughs> yeah, he's recording shit. Oh, fucking oh really? For my own protection. Personal opinion. You are a dumbass. Okay, thank you. I appreciate that. I didn't know that. I hope that ends up So I'm just, you know, you don't know what it sounds like. Just to let you know, that is a little No, it's not. Minnesota's a one-party state. No, Minnesota's a one-party state. Minnesota's a one-consent party state. I can record anything in public and use it. Let's go! <laughs> and I do it for my own protection because people threaten me. That makes sense. And I don't want I ain't, I ain't causing no problem with you, yeah? Okay. And you gotta let it go. I did? You gotta let it go. Just let it go. It's not worth pushing, okay? I need my back cigarettes from my car. I'll grab on the way. Okay. No apologies or nothing. No, fuck. Bro, can you stop being so just fucking, you guys are birth service, man. I get it fucked up, but why isn't there any apology? You know, look me up and it's, down, I'm not. Bro, come on, man. You're being a dickhead to him the whole time. I'm not being dickhead. Right, you're being, I get it. He fucked up. I'm not a serviceman, so I can't say what you guys have done. I mean, like. It's, it's, but I figure you guys are men for anything. You, do you think I fucked you over? You guys are both grown ass men, man. Shake hands and, and go on about your way. Agree to disagree. In front of me, that's what you did. Yeah, okay, and I yeah. apologized about that and I took the shit off. Let go, man. Because really if I go to jail. You had it on the whole night. No, how did I have it on the whole night? Why bro, I took it off? Fuck him, bro. Let it go. Let it go, bro.